Well, hello, or well, welcome back to the channel. This is Nate. Thank you for clicking on the video. And we are next to a really busy highway, so I'm going to try to be brief. But I just want to let you know that this has got a super nice floor plan in it. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. I know y'all are going to love the floor plan. Just wait till we get around to the back here. This has even got like one of the showers I see on other people's videos all the time. I've never been able to find one. This has got it. That big pass through shower. And we got this great big, I shouldn't say great big, but we got this really nice porch back here. Let me come around. In case you're wondering where this is at, we are at Titan Factory Direct. So now let me come back around here, see if I can do this without fall. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I was going to try to show you some of the back of the home too. So it's hard to show, but uh, there is kind of a little bit of the back of the home there. I'll show you all that once we get inside. You got his and her closets even. So we're going to start with this entrance way. I really like this banister type deal here. I know it's not technically a banister, but uh, I like the way it separates the dining room. I mean, heck, you could put yourself some stuff, lay it out here, set your mail down, that kind of stuff, while you take your shoes off or whatever. So really nice entrance way. Now we'll get into that in a minute. But speaking of that barn door, this has got the most unique pantry I have ever seen. That's part of your pantry, but we'll come in from someplace else. Yeah, you can literally walk all the way through your pantry. But we got to start with this extra large dining room area. Vents in the ceilings. All recessed lighting throughout the whole home. Don't mind the cord, I'm not sure what it's there for, but. And of course you can see they got the little plug in there. All their homes have these things plugged in throughout the homes. And I tell you, it smells really good. I don't know what scent they're using, but let me just tell you, it smells really good. And in our island over here, they do have the updated plugs with the USB in them. So that's really nice to see. Of course, now we've got plenty of seating for probably three, maybe even four. Got the tin kick back there. That way you're not kicking through the wall or the Kicking through it when you're trying to sit there and eat and you go to push out and your foot slips. I've done that. Can't say I kicked through it, but definitely kind of hurt the toe a little bit. Nice sprayer faucet here with the braided hose versus the metal flexible one. I like the braided ones better. The metal flexible ones tend to start, that metal starts to Peel away from itself, it seems like, after a while. Of 
nice backsplash in your kitchen. Really nice vent hood here. Nice shelf up above it there. Let's see if we go up underneath. Lots of cabinets in your kitchen here. These are the stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. We got a couple of drawers down at this end. And our pots and pans drawers, kind of just to the left of your stove area there. So there's your stove. There's your refrigerator with your pots and pans drawers. And then for all you coffee drinkers, you got a great big coffee bar. Now it's not exactly next to the fridge, but close enough, right? And in case I haven't mentioned it, because I don't know the name of the home yet, this is a champion home. Like, what a view, right? So now, we're going to come into the pocket door. And we've got more cabinets, more drawers. Yes, I know, I didn't get it closed completely. <laughs> we got cabinets up above, transom window, adjustable shelves, even a little corner desk. Of course, I'm not sure that I would necessarily use it as a desk because it is part of your pantry. Yeah. So here is the other portion of the pantry and on the back side of your pantry is your washer and dryer hookups along with the furnace portion of your central heating and air so yeah kind of a unique pantry so i haven't opened any of these so just to kind of give you an idea <clears throat> And now, let's go ahead and head on out back into our entranceway here. And now we're going to turn to the left and go to the bathroom first. Nice size counter in here. Hello, Raiden. I know he wishes he was with me on this trip. He wants to fly on a plane so bad now. I sent him some pictures from <clears throat> windows because I had a window seat. So I sent him some pictures looking out just as we were taking off and you could still see the ground. Now he really wants to fly. And no, I didn't send the pictures while the plane was moving. I had it in airplane mode. <laughs> this is a really good sized bedroom. And then we've got big old closet here. Like, I know it doesn't go all the way down to the door, but I bet it goes to where that plug is. And here is bedroom number two. Again, this one is also a really good sized bedroom.
Now it looks like your water heater access is inside the closet of this one. So the closet only goes to about, about halfway down where the door is there. And then the rest of that is all water heater. Now we gotta come back. Did I even do the living room? I don't think I did. <laughs> I was too busy focusing on this end of the home and that unique uh, pantry down there. We ain't even done the living room yet. So how about that tray ceiling, right? You got recessed lighting all the way around it. Big windows on both sides with the transom windows there. And a pretty much a whole wall of windows there. Now they've got this blocked off so I can't go out onto the porch, which is why I kind of swung around that pole to show you. But nice porch off the back side here. You got a nice big wall to put your TV on. And then off of your living room, yes it is off the living room, but is your master bedroom. And those bedrooms down there are so big that the master bedroom, I mean yes it is quite a bit larger, but I mean it didn't really feel like it was like super large when I walked in. But it is still a really big bedroom, like I said just it's nice to have kids rooms be good size to the point where you know they're not like little tiny things and everybody's cramped up except for the parents and now for what you've all been waiting for yep see i'm not gonna hide it like other people do <laughs> no offense to anybody A really nice sink here. I mean, you've got one, two, three, four drawers. Nice tall cabinets there. We've got linen cabinets over here. Except great big vanity mirror along with some really nice lighting up above. And on your back side, you've got a lot of cubby space. Like I said, more linen storage area. You've got like a little locker type area with some I guess in this case, it'd be your towel racks and your bathrobe racks. We've got our water closet back here. Now, that's pretty tight on the toilet there, so hopefully, if you're sitting, nobody decides to come in. Otherwise, it's going to be a knee knocker. I have yet to get Raiden to knock before he enters. Sometimes he'll just enter the bathroom without you know knocking or asking. But you know, he's eight, he's still young, he's learning, he's getting better at it. So this is closet number one. And then closet number two. So they're both decent sized closets. Together it is a lot of closet space. And then we have the big pass through shower here. Now I don't know based on the way this is laid out if you could actually get a tub in here. Because if you did there's not going to be a lot of space right there to be able to get to that side. So keep that in mind. I do not know if you could get a tub or not. But you do have a big bench in here and really nice marble style tile. I don't know that it's actual marble or not, but it looks like marble. All right. 
Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you liked what you saw. If you liked what you saw, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of the home? What kind of changes do you think you would make to the home? And uh, while you're down there leaving a comment, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Uh, right now it's three times a week. I don't know when this is going to come out. It may have already changed. So you're going to have to have notifications on because soon it's going to be just every other day. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I mean, this was a really nice home. I really like the floor plan on it. Once again, now this one was called the Aspen. I know I didn't uh, mention the name of it in the beginning of the video. So this one's called the Aspen. It is 1,870 square foot. I'm not sure if I had that in the beginning of the video either. I can't quite remember. But uh, this was at Titan uh, Factory Direct. They're in uh, Abilene, Texas. So uh, once again, really nice home, but now we got to get into some price information on this home. Now this one is a uh, manufactured home. I believe it can be had as a modular. Um, I think that was what he told me. But uh, the price I have is as shown as a manufactured. But keep in mind that this price is uh, at time of showing or time of filming in uh, January of 2023. So there could be other extra freight charges, delivery fees, you know, city, county fees, things like that. So you got to keep all that kind of stuff in mind. Also, while we were looking at the, uh, the floor plan there, there was an option to get that tub. So I should have had that plan in there. Now, with the option for the tub, you get the tile shower, but it's in a different location and it's not the pass-through style. So this price does include with the pass-through style shower without the tub. So with that said, the price that I currently have for this home has it coming in at 185,000. Now that was as shown. So I uh, hope you all are hitting the like button. Hope you all like the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.